Sometimes it may seem hard to convey to the public what an engine is doing right now, but it's actually quite simple. Our end goal is and has always been to develop a net zero range extender to solve the mobility emissions problem. And one of the projects we're currently working on fits perfectly in this plan. Let me show you why. The main project we at Tin Engine are currently working on is the development of a net zero emissions hydrogen fueled engine for light aviation purposes. This is a FIATI collaboration project with over 3 million in mixed public and private investment, bringing together leading aeronautical companies and well established mobility institutions within engines, e rex technology at the core of it. To better understand the scope of this project, let's break it down in three stages. In the first one, we're integrating everything we've learned from our previous three prototypes into a final product, on top of which we're implementing active pre-chamber technology. This renewed e rex is going to be a game-changer, from which we expect to get very low emissions and consumption, even when running on gas. The plan is to, later on, as part of a different project, take all these developments and integrate them in an electric vehicle to use it as a range extender. Ok, so now on to the second stage. Now that we've obtained good numbers using gasoline, we will take this development and we will retrofit it to work optimally using green hydrogen. This will transform an already very clean engine into a net zero emissions engine. The expertise of the Center of Thermal Engines of Valencia is proving key to ensure hydrogen integration on the E-Rex is successful. Lastly, on the third stage, the resulting hydrogen power e rex and its hydrogen storage system, they will both be installed in an aircraft. For this, we will count with the collaboration not only of private aeronautical companies, but also the Aeronautical Technology Center of País Vasco. As you can see, this is a very ambitious project with a massive milestone to be met on each of the three separate parts. Each one of those three stages is so valuable that each one separately would have made the whole project worth it. So just to recap, on the first stage we obtained a TRL-8 e rex ready to be implemented as a vehicle range extender. On the second one we transformed in-engine technology into green hydrogen technology, opening a whole new market not limited by emissions restrictions. Lastly, and from the third, we integrate the E-Rex on an aircraft entering a sector, and I mean the aeronautical, where an engine extreme reduction in weight and increasing power has been identified by key players as a game changer. And that's it. Hopefully that cleared it up a bit. Our end goal remains to have a hydrogen engine to be implemented as a range extender in a vehicle, in a car, but also as a main engine for aviation purposes or even as APU. There are obviously a few steps to get there, and depending on funding, we will be able to take a more or less direct route. But in the meantime, every milestone clear is opening new markets for an engine whose application possibilities are just endless.